One of the major updates of iOS is here. Yes, I'm talking about iOS 16 that comes with a lot of new features. Let it be revamped iOS screen, let it be privacy features and etc etc. But out of all of these great features, today we are going to talk about top 5 iOS 16 features. So if you are an iPhone user, make sure you watch this video till the end. So the very first thing that you'll notice and in fact I'd say highlight of iOS 16 is the new lock screen. I get it. This isn't some feature. In fact, I would say it is bunch of a lot of features that are going to enhance your experience. So when I'm talking about enhanced version, when it comes to lock screen, I'm talking about few features collectively. I'm talking about getting options to change style, color, fonts, and more of date and time, multi-layered effect for wallpapers, widgets on lock screen, and a new feature that none of us was expecting live activities. Users are already bombarding Twitter with their lock screens that are crazy wallpapers mixed with dope multi-layer effect and useful widgets. And trust me, I'm genuinely loving it so far. And one of the best things about all of this lock screen customization is that it is not just limited to apps that are made by Apple. Yes, you heard that right. The third-party application developers do get access to features like live activities, lock screen widgets, and others. The developers will get Widget Kit API for lock screen widgets and live activities so that they can utilize these features for their respective apps. Second best feature of iOS 16 is yet another feature that was long requested by us Apple lovers. Yes, you guessed that right. It is battery percentage indicator. Ever since iPhone 10 was launched, users have been relying on additional tabs to know the current battery level on their device. But iOS 16 fixes that. Just go to settings, battery and toggle on for battery percentage. And you'll notice that battery percentage will start appearing inside the battery icon on the top right corner of your device. But sadly, this feature is not available for all iPhone users. It is just available to iPhone 10 users, iPhone 12 users and iPhone 13 users without the minis. Before talking about next feature, let's talk about this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Sanebox. Sanebox is an AI tool that makes sure only important mail stays in your inbox. The benefit of using this tool is that only the important email arrives and stays in your inbox and all the distractions and spam that arrives are moved to same later folder. Head to the link in description to know more about this amazing tool and get a 14-day free trial. Yet another great feature in iOS 16 is live text in videos. Indeed, it is one of those features that makes you feel like how did they do that? So to explain, one can say that it's basically Apple's native optical character reading technology. Earlier, it was limited to images, screenshot, camera capture, and etc. But now with iOS 16, you can extract text from videos as well. How cool is that? If you're wondering which apps support this feature, then as of shooting this video, only Photos app and Safari are supported to use this feature. But since Apple has released a live text API for developers, it won't take much time for developers to adopt this feature. Let's hope that apps like YouTube and Vimeo adopts this feature as soon as possible. If you're an iMessage user, you're absolutely going to love these new features in iOS 16. Messages now offers three new features. Editing messages after sending, deleting messages after sending, and marking a conversation as unreal. Editing message works almost same when you edit a message on WhatsApp, Slack or Telegram. The same happens with deleted messages, just as we have in a WhatsApp chat. These features should have came a long time before, but nevertheless, it's Apple, so it's better late than never. Last and one of the most important features of iOS 16 is related to privacy. And we all know how seriously Apple takes privacy, which is why they introduced not just one, but two major privacy features in iOS 16. First is safety check. Apple wants to offer more control to users who share passwords and access to certain apps and data, such as location, with other people, but this can be used as abuse in toxic relationships. This is where safety check comes into the play. It quickly revokes access to data and location that was previously shared with others. And the other feature is lockdown mode, which if activated makes it much more difficult for commercial spyware vendor to discover and take control of device or access its information by combining vulnerabilities in multiple iOS features. Do let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite feature of iOS 16 and since you're watching this video till this point then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure to download the iGeeks plug app from the app store if you like to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.